uh, hi everyone so that's just another tutorial video about uh, compact surface pattern uh, I have used curve to curve uh, deformation method before if you see it's curve to curve but I want to use push surface I want to create target surface and I want to deform my body by surface it's like was flat before and then uh, compact surface pattern after let's show all our curves and let's build loft surface right ready that's loft surface now height curves show solid body for deformation and let's go to deformation use push surface command choice body bodies to, to be deformed that should be deformed next choice here select body i will use that body for deformation and we should make like deformation direction top i think Okay, plane doesn't work. Uh, I can use edge on the solid body, something like that. If you see, we have like uniforming. Uh, to our new surface zero. Alright, I think zero, no, one millimeter. I think this value of uniforming deviation, deform deviation. It's very tight, one millimeter. And we should wait on rebuilding. Right, and solid blocks told me deform devi deviation is too small compared to the body size, just at minimum volume. Alright. One millimeter. It's very, very. Oh, they are proposed 1.12. All right, and let's uh, make like accuracy adjustment. Oh, that's not responding now because of rebuilding. If you see, my software do not responding now. I will wait. All right, rebuilding is ready, and let's press OK and wait for all rebuildings. All right, rebuilding is finished. <laughs> that was take five minutes, I think, too much. Uh, but if you see, it's not exactly uniform to the surface because of some difficulties uh, in rebuilding, I think. But if you see, it's deformed by surface. Uh, I mostly like previous method curve to curve because it's faster and uh, more accurate than that method and better fitting. Uh, I will try to do something another. I will make like blank model now uh, without video capturing and then show you the formation what I want to do. All right, another model I have rebuilt it and I want to show you how to push that body and make that like spherical like here uh, that will be useful when you make like white in lenses right let's go to the form uh, direction direction is from front reverse that side uh, next choice select body here choose the spherical element and let's make five millimeters deviation firstly next choice body for deformation if you see it's not exactly fitted uh, need to make more 
tight 2 millimeters deviation but that my surface uh, my sulfur <laughs> stopped responding right now yeah all right uh, I will press OK and we'll stop to record video because I don't know how much time this operation will take if you see here uh, in rebuilding we have uh, phases for deformation it's 4837 phases It's not so simple information because of pattern. All right, and that's what we receive it. Not exactly like sphere here, uh, but that's also a useful method. You can change sphere radius on 18, 80, then press rebuilding, and everything should rebuild. Right, and now it's rebuilt it, uh, by another sphere. But if you see, it's not accurate. Uh, it's possible to use deformation, deviation, and accuracy switcher to make it more uh, precisely deformed to the sphere. I will make one millimeter deviation and I will make shape option shape accuracy higher press ok All right uh, that's rebuild it I have wait until 8 10 minutes on that rebuilding but if you see it's not like so much good pattern if you see it's very very deformed and not exactly spherical here edges are hard and it doesn't deform it all right but that is uh, only for tutorial i will send the tutorial on youtube and uh, thank you for watching, enjoy this video, uh, see you next time, goodbye.